Vice President Dr. Parajak Dio on Wednesday met with leaders of over 200 Amerindian communities at the Archer Chung Conference Center, where he announced that the PPPC government has kept its commitment under its LCDS 2030 policy framework to the indigenous communities. The disbursement of funds from Guyana's first sale of carbon credits will begin as early as next week. A total of $4.6 billion, which represents 15% of payments from Guyana's carbon credits, will see the indigenous communities receiving up to $35 million and no less than $10 million from carbon credit sale to HES Cooperation. The leaders were elated at this announcement. So um, I'm very much happy when Vice President announced it today. We will be seeing a lot of development within our villages. And as leaders, you know, we have to be accountable. This will bring a difference to every village. It will bring in, generate uh, income for the community. It will, it will be able to generate um, employment, more jobs for the residents from the community. And, uh, Today I am happy, happy to see such a development of this government. I must say I'm very much excited and I'm not alone. Many of us in our villages and communities, we are excited after a long time. And um, I would like to say we are happy. This would bring tremendous transformation and development in our various villages and community. Uh, I want to specifically thank the administrations for the, the initiative and um, having the, the vision to incorporate the Amerindian communities and supporting them, as, as, you, as we can clearly see, supporting the livelihoods. Now, in terms of, let me speak to Village Region 10, because I'm also the District Council Chairperson for that. It will dramatically change and challenge the leaders, first and foremost, for inter, uh, accountability, ensuring that those projects are, uh, they, that the well-being of our villages can be ascertained uh, the, develop, the projects can be developed and I think working in consultation with the administration we can build the, the necessary platform so that the livelihoods and the lives of the residents can be improved. So my community is separated into two. We have two parts, the main village which is Riversview and we have the satellite which is Falmouth. Riversview will be getting 35 plus million dollars and the Falmouth will be getting 18 million dollars. Some of the things we wanted to focus on was on youth, women, and development in the village and sustainable livelihoods. Within a short time that the PPP Civic Administration has come back into government, we have seen development in leaps and bounds. As a matter of fact, there's so many things happening in Santa Rosa, it's hard for me to keep up. As a leader for the community, I'm very happy to um, receive these funds to develop the community and to make the lives more easy for my residents in my community. And also, I would just like to say that the government indeed is doing a great job. They are looking into the indigenous, um, the Amerindian communities, not only the coastal, and I'm happy for that, that we have been recognized. I, I would say that I'm a former Tushaw. I was a Tushaw before, um, before the, this government comes in, and there were less, less transformational agenda then. And now, under this government, the government has put aside these allocations. So it's a PPP government that sees the Amerindian development Right, through different sectors. It's not only the first time. As, we, as VP, Vice President stated, this is just a 30% of the low carbon credit. So we still have 70% that comes our way. And it's not the full 100% um, disbursement yet. It's just part of 150 million US dollars. And this year is 22 million US dollars for the Amerindian villages. So we still have more to come. And we'll, we'll have more disposable income so that the villages can transform their villages in different projects, road, uh, tourism, but as, as the president said, it, it must come from the village, it must come from the villagers, so this is just the beginning and the, the, the minimum that they're getting is just the beginning of their transformational agenda.